Hello again. Well, for those of you who've been following my Instagram for a while, you've seen this before. This is my uh, laundry room in my second canal house. And um, I made those baskets uh, in there. There's a uh, the laundry basket on the right, it tilts forward and you can put your laundry in there and then there's a basket under the stairs. But when I was making these baskets, I wanted to make them from another material and I used like a garden twine in the end because I couldn't find the waxed thread that um, I bought specifically for basket making. And here, um, is my Christmas room box where I also use the, the same garden twine because I couldn't find a waxed thread but I was looking for the feathers um, to do the marbling a few weeks ago and uh, guess what I found <laughs> in this box both of them and I knew I had two um, Two of these spools of waxed thread and uh, what is it called? Linen thread. And uh, I knew I had them, could, couldn't find them anywhere. So there we go. So now I thought I'd make a basket with that. Uh, it's a little bit late because last week was Easter and uh, it would have been nice, but well, I didn't have time. So I'm going to try and make a basket. Today, I have this piece of bread um, in my pantry and it just sits on one of the uh, tables in there. Uh, so I thought I'd make a little basket for it, uh, just a shallow one, so that it just has somewhere to sit in there. And I have a lot of baskets in the pantry, so I like baskets, basically. So uh, I thought I'd do that, uh, start hopefully not too difficult it's been a while since i've done done this and as you know i'm not a basket maker so i'll just have a go um i think uh, i think this linen color then what 25 euros no Oh my goodness, I'm a bit shocked to be honest. I actually bought that. 25 euros for a spool of linen, wax linen. That's really expensive. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> well, at this moment, I I don't think I would have spent that much money on it. That's a lot of money for. Maybe it was for two. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm just getting off topic here. Um, I want to make a shallow basket, and for that, and like I said, I I've not done it a lot. I'm not a basket maker, but I think I can kind of remember how it's done. I need these things, metal, um, to form the frame, and I never understand these gauges, but I have some different ones, and I can tell that the higher the number, the thinner the, the wire gets. Look. So here we got 24, 26, 28, and 30. And uh, it gets thinner the higher the number gets. So that's fairly thin. I think I even have thinner ones. But in this case, I would like a fairly thick one. So I'm going to use these. And uh, this is number 24. And maybe this looks like it's the one that was on its own. 
probably either 24 or 26. Possibly I'm just going to use it. So, and the other thing I have to do, because of course these are green, I don't know if they come in different colors. I, su I suppose they do. I don't have them. I only have them for flower making, which I've done in the past and haven't done recently. So it's not something I normally look at, even though I do have the materials. So uh, I'm going to use these. So I have to paint them a different color and then uh, I can use them. Look, yes, we'll do that. I'm just going to paint f five of them. I think that will be enough. The only thing is to make sure they don't stick together when they're drying because you'll rip up the paper. You know, this is um, metal wire. For those who've ne those of you who've never done this, uh, or haven't have no idea what I'm going to be doing, this um, these are metal wires, thin metal wire, and they're covered with paper. So the paper, let me show you here, and you can see it. Can you see that? No, not in the shots. Here we go. It's covered with paper. And as you can see, my nails are covered, covered with paint <laughs> from my other project. But anyway, um, yeah, it's paper covered wire and it's mostly used in making flowers, miniature flowers or floristry. I think they're used in floristry, uh, real floristry as well. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, but I think so. So I've made a little sketch to help me understand um, how many wires I need and how long they have to be and what to do basically. So the inner circle is the size of the basket, so the diameter. And as you can see, the Red fits right in there. And the outer circle is the height of the basket. So if I put the red sideways, um, it's going to be shorter than the bread. And uh, that's just what I want. And I'm going to put some handles on there. So uh, I need some wires, enough wire to, uh, to make the handles. So basically what happens is this is the start of the basket and this is these these are the wires I'm using um, to form the structure. Now um, I counted them <laughs> and um, there's what, what was it seven uh, one two three four five six seven yeah I'm using seven and maybe I may have to use a little a few more but I think it will be enough. Um, Every about two and a half millimeters, there will be a wire, and I think it's enough. But um, so I've got seven wires going horizontal and seven wires vertical, vertically. And so what's going to happen is I'll glue these in the center, closer together, of course. But this is just for the drawer. In a um, basically form, to form a square in the center. And what happens then, uh, I've taken this section to show you, to show myself because I had to measure. Um, these wires go like that. So basically if we count this as the first wire, oh, I start, should have started here, but that's all right. So then we've got one and this is the outer section, right? So it's going to be a little bit longer and I have to cut it off later. There's one, then there's the second one and that one goes to the left. Because here's the grid and then I'm going to form 
the basket like that. So there's four. And that's going to happen the same on this side. They're going to go here. And as I said, there's seven. So there's going to be three here as well. So I'll do that in pencil. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we've got the ones that are going horizontally, horizontally. So there's one, it's going here, two, three, and then the one in the center is four. And again, it's going to be the same on this side. So this one's going here, one, two, three, and then four. And of course the same on the other side. So that's going to form the structure of the basket. I'll do that first and then I'll start weaving. Um, I'll show you if you don't understand what I'm talking about. I'll show you. So I've put those in a square grid. Um, that looks very nice. Uh, maybe that's not what you're supposed to do. And I use a little bit of super glue, uh, probably cheating, but <laughs> it makes it easier. I tried a lot of things to keep them together. It was pretty difficult. And uh, looking at it now, it's quite the square is quite big, so maybe I should have used thinner wires. But, well, this is what I've done, so I think it will be okay. So now I should start weaving. And the first thing I'll do is I'll um, weave it across like that. And then I'm going to start weaving in and out. In and out. So it's going to look very nice and I'm also going to put a tiny bit of super glue on there need it. just to stick it down which probably isn't really necessary I think it will make it easier for me there just the beginning now it will stay and uh, the wax paper, uh, the wax paper, the wax uh, thread, this linen wax th thread, it kind of sticks to itself anyway. So i um, not sure what I'm going to do with the end. I'm just going to leave it there for now. So I'm going over, under, over and under. That's the beginning. And now I have to shape the basket, so that will be fine. So now I have to, and and these these are the long ones are for the handles, and maybe I didn't put them in the right position, but we'll see. And I probably only need one. So I'm going to move those over and uh, you probably could make a jig with pins, like a wooden jig with some pins to, to, to put those in the correct position. 
but I'm going to just try it like this. And if there are any basket weavers out there, they're probably thinking, what on earth is she doing? Or maybe not. Maybe I'm doing it the correct way. But this is just, this just seems to make sense to me. So we'll see. Just spreading them out. that and do the same thing on the other side. So now it's a matter of weaving in and out. So let's I think I'll just Get my tweezers there to uh, push them in a little bit. Right. Well, <laughs> um, I did mess up. I did um, have to start again and then when I started again it all fell apart and I had to re-glue it so the paint came off and it's looking like a bit of a mess so I'm just treating this as a test case and so there's a bit of glue on there. Um, one, A couple of things I've noticed is that uh, I think the, um, the metal wire should be thinner because I think it's quite big and that will mean that the center will be smaller as well, which will look a lot nicer. Um, you really have to pay attention, especially in the first two rounds, um, because you, it's very easy to miss one. So I really needed to be up close to do this. Um, the other thing is that uh, you need an uneven amount of wires because if you do, if you have an even amount you keep going over and under the same wires and um, you know it won't be very firm that's just not how it works so you can either use because here I've got that bit where I started the square I left quite a long bit uh, loose so you can use that as one of the extra ones uh, I haven't I've just inserted a new one I don't even know where somewhere <laughs> um, underneath the uh, the square and I just little dab of glue I just stuck it in there and then I started weaving you can't tell you don't know I don't know where it is but it's in there so the back I mean, it didn't turn out very nicely. I'll have to redo it or do do another one, basically. But to get an idea of what it's like. So, and again, I need to be closer, but I think I can kind of see. So this is the start and I'll, I'll cut that off some at some point. I could cut it off now. And then it will disappear. <laughs> so that was the starting wire. And like I said, you can use it as a an extra weaving wire. So we're going under, over, under, over, etc. Now, what's important, and you can see it's happening again here, um, 
keep the uh, wires at the distance, uh, spaced evenly, uh, then you get the nicest result, unless there's something you want to achieve, another result you want to, to achieve. So, and also keep checking that you're going make, because I want to make a circle. So I have to keep checking that it's round. So it's wider here than it is here. So I should have pushed a little bit less here. So I'll just keep an eye on that. Now I'm going to keep going until I reach the first circle that size. Then I'm going to change the technique a little bit and uh, then I'll work on the side. There, I think, yep, that's the correct size. So now I'm going to do the sides. And now I'm going to change the, the type of, oh, there we go. See, whenever I can see very well, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. There. Um, I decided to, now I'm going, as, as I'm changing, to the uprights, which I'll do once I've gone round, and uh, I'll use this as my uh, starting point. I'm going to change the type of um, or whatever it's called, stitch. No, I don't know. I'll call it a stitch. <laughs> Weave. So I'm going to go, what did I do, around, so like that. So it's under, over, there. Let's see what that looks like on the back. So it's like that. Was it? No. <laughs> yeah, it's... No. Wait a second. Sorry. So it's over and then round. Over the second one and then around. So I'm going to loop it over and then round. You get a really nice effect like that and I think it will make a nice transition from the sides to the from the bottom to the sides like that. You can make up your own weaves <laughs> type of weave so it's over and around over and around. Uh, should I go under? Should I do one more? Mm, maybe over and under. Go the other way. How did I do that? It came out there. I went like that. Maybe that's the same way. So uh, like that. Is that the, the opposite of what I was doing? I think so.
Right, I think that's it. Just look here on my circle. Yep, that's the correct size. So now I'm going to push up the sides. My thumb will be easier. Now, the easy thing to do would be if you had a mold, you could mold it around there. And I do kind of, <laughs> because this is almost the right size, so I could use that. Push that up like that. That's a lot easier. Ooh, I'm losing some of my weave here. You gotta be careful. Ah, yes, of course. Because the circle, ah, uh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Because the circle is getting, ah, uh, uh, yeah. Well, that was stupid. Okay, I'll have to do it again. Well, I did make a mistake. Um, I thought if I could weave with the, let's call it spines, sticking out, you know, in a circle, it would be much easier and then push them up later. Uh, and when I did that, um, of course, I forgot that when the circle gets bigger, you need more thread. So when you push it back, the weave becomes too loose. So don't do that. I'm using the bottle cap of this paint bottle because it has the exact same size, the correct size, so I can just push them up, which is very nice. You can do it by hand, but I mean using your fingers to shape it. And then just continue weaving. So. I have to push this down a little bit because I, well, that's, that came off all the, because I had to do it again. Push them down. And then just weave up to the desired height. There. Um, Right, I think that's the correct height. Uh, if I put the bread in there. Yeah, I like that. You can still see it and uh, yeah. Now, uh, I thought I will also do, take that out again, the same edge on top here as I did on the bottom. So I'll just go. What was it under and around? Well, after some gardening and dinner, I continued with the basket and I completely forgot to film uh, what I was doing. Um, I finished one handle and it looks like that because, you know, I just thought it would be fun to have a handle like that. And um, I already started on the second one and I then I realized I didn't film anything. So <laughs> what I did was I, if you remember, there were two long ones here. So four basically and on the other side as well. So I had one short one in the middle and one, two, three, four long ones. And these two and these two, so these four are now forming the handle. Um, what I've done is I've folded or bent rather uh, the uh, two on the left 
uh, in two with two corners and then I cut them here the other two long ones which in the end I, because what I thought I'd do is double them up so each one, one have it going like that the other one going like that and the outer one going to the right and this one going to the left and then double them up but it didn't look right so I decided to cut them and I cut the metal at an angle like that so in the end I will glue them together with a little bit of super glue and then weave in and out between them but for now I'm leaving them open because it is much easier to work uh, this way <laughs> because otherwise you have to go in and out in between all the time like like you would do with a needle you know go in pull the whole wire through go back through the other hole pull, pull the whole wire through so it's a lot of work and now you only have to do that in the end because now and I'm going over and under and over and under so I'm going in here and under, back over, and under, like that. So as you can see, it's a lot easier to do it this way. Then if it was closed and you wouldn't be able to go, you wouldn't be able to do this because then you'd have to, and you'd have to cut off the the thread as well because you can't fix the whole, fit the whole uh, spool through, <laughs> through those holes, of course, makes sense, right? So this is a lot easier, just doing it like this. And again, the outer, ring is a little bit uh, bigger so it needs more windings so I'm, I'm just pushing them you can see that here on the inner part they're much more pushed together I have to fix this a little bit and the outer ring they're they're more spaced apart and the annoying thing is with this and I, I'm gonna have to have to find See if that exists, These this metal wire with the paper, which is already beige or brown, because as you can see, the paint is coming off all the time and it doesn't look nice because it sort of shines through. You can see it here and I put a little bit of paint in there, but it's still, you know, not looking too pretty and I've been and I painted this a little bit, but it just shows, you know, it's not as nice as if you wouldn't have to do anything to it. So I'll have to see if that exists. But also maybe, you know, maybe you guys know. And of course you could do this, um, not, I mean, not attached to the basket. You could do it separate and then later insert, you know, leave, leave a bit, bit of metal wire at the ends and then just stick them in. You could do that. But I wanted it to be <laughs> part of the basket. And now of course it's not really because I have to glue them. But yeah, well. I've got a gel type super glue. And then hold that there for a while until it sets. I have to cut the wire. I'll just wait a little bit. I know it's super glue and it's supposed to set in seconds, but I always feel it's a little bit stronger when you just leave it for 10 minutes or so. Well, that 
has probably dried sufficiently. And now I'm going to weave them in and, in and out like that. And sometimes, especially here in the center, it helps if you have a your tweezers handy. And this way, really, you can do it without. I'm just moving the center ones a little bit closer together so the top one can fan out a little bit. See, oh, and I just, while this was, the the glue was setting, I did a little Google search. Um, I did find brown florist wire. I didn't find beige, beige colored, but uh, at least not the, the paper covered ones. I did find like gold uh, wire, and but that wasn't paper covered. The pa paper covered ones, I only saw white or green, obviously, white and brown. So maybe white and brown would be better. I would prefer to have beige, but. And also I set this wax wire or thread, it's called wax thread, it was really expensive. It was 25 euros, or was it? here. Ah, I had a look at several websites and Etsy and eBay and Amazon and well this type of waxed linen, that's what it is, is just very expensive and even this brand I couldn't find it for that price. It was all more expensive than this one. So and a lot of them came from the US, so um, if I would order that, uh, I would still have to pay a lot of shipping and import and uh, other taxes, which is very expensive here. There, I think this is the last one. Going back to the middle. Just make some space there. There, and now I will... There's a... You can kind of go in between there. So I'm going to put the wire through there. This is the start of the wire. That's why I where I started with. So in between there, I'm going to put that in there. Or through there. go over top and then in the next one it's a little bit fiddly yeah. <laughs> there got it 
So now I'm going in between the two handles and I'm going to bring the thread over to the other side and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So put that through. To the front. And then I'm going to go through there. Go over top in the next one. Then go through the middle again of the handle, and then I'm moving it to the back. There. And one more time through here. And then I can just cut it off. There. Cut that off. That's fine. Like that. And do the same with the other one. And I won't do that on camera because it gets a little bit boring. But it's the same. I'm just going the other way. There. That's finished. Um, so I've got two handles finished now the last thing i have to do oh and i did the the middle ones i sort of bent them inwards in between the um the inside wire there we go you can just about see them and that's what i wanted to do with all of these and i tried a couple but as you can see the wire and I wanted to do them sideways like this and then just push them in between everywhere. So I go to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. But because it's green underneath and the, the paper started unraveling a little bit, it was really visible. You could just see it. And it was very, very ugly. But that would have meant I could have had a beautiful finish to the top. And now I have to do something else which is also fine, but it's not really what I wanted to do. But what I did do, and it was also really nice, I took two lengths of florist wire and I took two bits of um, linen thread, the wax linen, th linen thread, and wrapped it around it, uh, all around the two wires. And then I glued them up a little bit, cut them to size, and then cut off the tops of all of the florist wire on the basket and then I glued those two in the shape of the basket onto the tops with a little bit of super glue. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Well, there it is, finished. <laughs> I really quite like it. I did put uh, paint on the parts where the green was showing and uh, that bit in the middle, uh, it's got some glue on it. It doesn't look too good, but I do like it. <laughs> so there we go. Red fits right in there. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. and uh, room for improvement, but that's all right. Um, 
I've learned a lot from it. Things that I shouldn't do, things that I should do. <laughs> so, yeah. That was lovely. I'll be doing that again sometime. Um, now I just have to remember what I did. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the pantry. See, lots of baskets. Here's another basket with bread. I didn't make that. Oh, that, this one's got a bit of cloth in there. And this is real, uh, yeah, what is it? Some kind of natural, uh, feels like grass or of some sort. But, yeah. And then there's mine. Goes in there. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time.